ET now exclusive then in what could be a big tax tussle between India and Kane PLC. The Indian government is likely to appeal against Kane PLC seeking the withdrawal of any interest uh, payment relief that was given by the income tax uh, tribunal ITAT. Remember ITAT just last week had uh, in fact gone ahead and had uh, given some sort of a relief to Kane PLC. They had said that uh, Kane PLC should pay the tax department 10,000 crore rupees but they had uh, waived off any interest uh, payment liability but looks like the Indian government is likely to ch challenge this order now. They are likely to challenge the 19,000 crore interest re relief that was given to Kane PLC by ITAT uh, and uh, this uh, even as uh, you know as we've, we've been saying that ITAT did give a relief to Kane PLC. The government is likely to challenge the ITAT ruling in the Delhi High Court giving uh, the interest payment and we understand that the government believes that uh, uh, this should be done on two counts. Firstly, that Kane PLC did not avail the dispute resolution scheme by the government, which ended on January 31st, so no interest relief should be given. And they may even consider imposing 100 to 300 percent penalty on Kane PLC for non-payment of this tax. In fact, the government also believes that... Uh, uh, given the fact that the government did get a favorable order in ITAT gives uh, the government uh, some sort of uh, a favorable, uh, uh, you know, uh, a favorable position that the government has even uh, as far as the international arbitration is concerned. But that, of course, uh, is something that we will have to watch out for. But the government is clearly uh, going to uh, int intensify this tax battle even further.